Ooh. Okay, what is up, I'm Alex. It's me, I'm a Jane on Abby Jane TV, and we are here. We are here to do. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. What did I press? What did I press? What did I press? I didn't press anything illegal. We are here. So, okay, did I do the main directions? No, I didn't, right? What is up, I'm Alex. It's me, I'm a Jane on Abby Jane TV. I hope you're all good, you're safe. Uh, if you're cold, get yourself a hot bottle, water bottle, thingy, sack, and just have it in your, with the, you know, with a blankie. I'm just going to have a blanket because it's really cold. So we're just having this around my stomach. So we are here to do Red Velvet's Irene and Solgi. So they released a duet song. So this is like a subgroup. For Irene and Sulgi, and the title of the song is called Monster. I heard it was a banger, but I decided not to watch it! Not to watch it, because I wanted to see this myself as a surprise, as I love Red Velvet, and I hope... And obviously they did this because Wendy's still in recovery, if you don't know, Wendy had an accident last year, December, she somehow broke... Doing that performance or rehearsal, she, she fell over and she kind of injured her wrists and her, you know, the pelvic area, the bone. I don't know that if that was the case. Ooh, ooh. But yeah, she had a couple of bruisings after, after the, the accident. Um, so yeah, so I hope she is recovering. I just hope she's recovered, fully recovered, fully ready to get back to work as soon as she feels super duper ready to dance again and sing again because we miss Swendy, we miss Red Velvet as a whole. So we're going to do Red Velvet, Monst Red Velvet Irene and Solgi Monster in 3, 2, 1, go, go. Is that Irene? Look at Irene, bitch! Yes, Irene! Oh, Solgi! It's so gear. She looks so pretty. <laughs> I never imagined this this side of them. Well, we've seen it in Bad Boy, but never this this. Like to this level. They look so good. Wow. Look at them! That shot right there was gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. She looks so pretty. Look at her. Look at Irene. Oh. And look at the girl, yes! <laughs> Is she gonna shoot the ground? I swear. Look at these shots, Irene, so yeah. Wow! They look flawless. Look at these queens right here. We all know that, that Solgi is an amazing dancer out of, like, Red Velvet. Okay, that's a bit creepy. <laughs> what the hell just happened there? I imagine all the shippers... I'm not a fan of shipping people, but the shippers, the K-pop shippers, especially the Red Velvet shippers, they must have their dream come true with this because I imagine they be shipping Sulgi and Irene to death and I imagine they, 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 their hormones and their ovaries got exploded by this look at them I mean they they look like porcelain dolls it's just oh my goodness especially with their dresses Look at her hair. Yes, this see, this is what I'm saying. 
When it comes to dancing, Sogi is a serious woman, okay? Sogi is no joke. If you're only into just BTS and Blackpink, sweetheart, you are literally digging yourself a grave because have you seen Rev Velvet? <laughs> have you seen the music videos? Have you seen this? Have you seen, heard, or have your ears fully bled to death because the, their music and their sound is so good? They and let me just say before you before you say oh but but black has got the pink side and the black side guess what who was the pioneer of having the red and the red side and the velvet side was red velvet red velvet before black pink <laughs> that was red velvet okay red velvet sweetheart let me just get myself comfortable red velvet was the first group to ever pull off. R&B for the velvet side and the cutesy wootsy side with the red side. Do I need to explain to you guys right here? And this is definitely the velvet side. 100% velvet side. That right there, that right there is what you called, you got the red side and then you got the velvet side. This is the velvet side, guys. So maybe if you haven't checked out <laughs> velvet as a whole, from their red side to the velvet side to their subunits, sweetheart, get on that train. Don't sleep on them. Don't sleep on them. By the way, my bias is actually Yeti. I love Yeti to death. She's so adorable. <laughs> She's so cute though. <laughs> She's so cute. She's um, amazing. She's just... And if I were like, She's like, she would be like my baby, like my younger sister to look out for and give advice, you know? Uh, and I knew that when Jung Hyun passed away, she, she had it the hardest because she was really, really close to him as well, as well as Taeyeon. Oh man, I would hug those girls to death because I would literally hug them like, in cons like, if you're Latino, you know what I mean. We do hug people, but not in a sexual way. We hug them to to console someone. So I would, if I would eventually hug someone like like Yeri just to console her, her pain and her sorrows to lose someone so dear to her. So with that being said, that right there, sweetheart. Again, get on that train. Get on the red velvet train because these these girls, all of them in general, are just. Phenomenal. Oh, here we go. What? Okay. <laughs> hey. Okay, so this song should be used as a badass female multi fandom M F M V F M V because this is because the I think this is a whole female anthem, Slay Queens. It's true. I think it is because these girls. There were, there were, I don't, I didn't see any male, probably. I can't breathe. <laughs> it's not, I can't breathe to the sense of yawning when I'm speaking, but that's because I yawned. But Irene and Solgi, sweetheart, but I can't wait when Joy, Wendy and Yeti comes back again with the, with the other, with the, with the girls, just to slay again. So with that being said, I love you all. Anyon, anyon everyone, and Sarah Hill. Oh, Jesus.